This is a KGUN 9 On Your Side news update. Pinal County Sheriff's deputies are looking for a missing 46-year-old woman. According to the department, Elizabeth Breck was last seen at 3 p.m. on Sunday. That was near Edwin and North Lago del Oro Parkway. She was wearing a gray skirt and gray top. She's 5'4", 123 pounds, and has blonde hair and green eyes. Those with information should call 520-866-5111. Salarita Rita police are also still looking for a suspect in a child abuse case. They did arrest one woman. Police say Stephanie Clark faces two counts of child abuse and two counts of failure to report child abuse. She was booked and released from jail. Officers are still looking for David Clark. Here he is right here. He was last seen driving a blue or silver 2017 Hyundai Elantra four-door sedan with Arizona license plates CAJ6116. He's described as a white man who's six feet tall, 210 pounds, has brown hair and blue eyes. Of course, if you do have information, call 911 or 88 Crime. Organizers with the Tucson Pima collaboration to end homelessness are trying to bring in some volunteers. This is ahead of the annual homeless count. Now on your sides, Veronica Acosta joins us with more on why volunteers are so needed. Veronica. Hey, Whitney, well, we're right near DeAnza Park. This is one of the many spots that some of those volunteers will have to visit during the homeless count. Now, in past years, the Tucson Pima collaboration, they've had a ton of volunteers come on by for them. This year, though, it's a little bit different. They are struggling to get some more people on board. If you're someone who's interested in volunteering, all you have to do is fill out a small survey. There is some in-person training going on tonight. And then, of course, you can always do that online course as well. You can find all of this information on our website, kega9.com. For now, reporting near DeAnza Park, Veronica Costa, Kega9 on your side. All right, Veronica, thanks so much. You do have the chance to help out Tucson families in need. Kega9 is partnering with HSL Properties at the Dorado Golf Course to collect food and money for the Community Food Bank of Southern Arizona. That's on Speedway, east of Wilmot. Join us Friday to stuff the bus, 6 in the morning until 6 at night. All right, why don't we check in now with meteorologist April Madison for a look at our forecast. Hey, April, good morning. Good morning. Let's get a look outside. This is the view looking north now towards the Catalinas. We've got just enough sunlight that you can see quite a bit of clearing with just a few clouds out there. 48 is what we've held on to at the airport, but 46 here on the east side. Either way, it'll be a little bit of a chilly start once again, but clouds will continue to clear. And then we'll see partly cloudy skies at throughout the day, but still going to warm to about 65. Boy, we're going to continue that warm up though into Thursday. Look at that sunny and near 70 Thursday looking very nice. More rain chances and wind on Friday, but then a very nice weekend in store as well with lots of sunshine. Thanks, April. For more news and weather updates throughout the day, you can always follow us on KGUN 9 on our Facebook page or our website.